Hello everybody, I'm Braden from EG4 Electronics and today I'm going to give you a firmware update guide for the EG4 6000EX. So the first thing you want to make sure you do is turn on your inverter and then once it's booted up, pull out your firmware update cable and plug the RS-232 into the far right port on the inverter and then your USB into your laptop. And you can also make sure um, the firmware update version that you're on currently by pressing up You'll see U2, that's the display firmware. U1 is the inverter's firmware. So you can double check that before you update. After you've put in your firmware update cable into both the computer and the inverter, navigate to eg4electronics.com downloads and look for the EG4-6000EX and download the latest firmware. It'll give you a compressed zip folder and you'll want to extract that folder onto your desktop. Upon opening that folder, you will find two extra folders. The first one you want to go into is the remote reflash MCU um, and click on the application file. It's a .exe. You want to make sure you do this one first. Once you've opened it, you want to make sure that you're on the correct COM port, which you can do by going to your search bar and typing in device manager. In your device manager under ports, you'll find a USB serial port and you want to make sure you're on that COM. So we're on COM6, so that's the one we need to make sure that we are using on the application. Alrighty, and once you've done that, you're able to click update MCU and you'll have to give it just a second because the text block uh, will appear. Alrighty, you'll know it's successful once you've seen COM was opened and the program has started flashing over. It'll take just a minute, so you can go ahead and go make yourself a coffee or maybe read a little book while you're waiting. Alrighty, now that our update is finished, uh, we will see that everything was successful and we're able to go ahead and exit out of that application. Now we want to navigate to the other folder. This one will say InfiniV Master CPU um, and so we're going to go ahead and open up that application. And we again want to make sure that we're on the correct COM port. We're on COM6, and then we're able to press update. It'll prompt you, and you'll just want to select yes. Again, give it a minute, it will populate the text block. Alrighty, now that's populated the text block, it says that it is connecting, so we're going to give it a sec. Uh, to make sure that the connection goes through. Alrighty, if you are already connected and updating, that's great, but we want to show you what happens if you happen to get a connection failure, or you might say something that says, uh, failed to read USB port, something like that. Um, so first you want to go to your inverter and we'll move on from there. Alrighty, so back at we're in our inverter, we want to go ahead and power cycle it, so we're going to turn it off, and we'll have to give it a sec. And then we'll go ahead and turn it back on. And once it boots up, since we have this cable plugged in, and we're also only halfway through a firmware update, we may see error 32 pop up. Yes, okay. Once this happens, don't worry. We're going to go ahead and go back to the computer and finish the second half of the update. Alrighty, now back at the computer, we want to go ahead and exit from the program and reopen it. Make sure, of course, that we're on the correct COM port and then start the update process again. Give it a second, wait for the text box to populate, and we'll know that it was successful. Okay, our text block is populated and we now have a remaining time. So again, you can go ahead and take a break and wait for it to go ahead and update your inverter. Alrighty, the update has been a success, and now we have the correct uh, firmware on our both inverter and display screen. So you can go ahead and exit out of that, and we are now done with the computer. Alrighty, back at our inverter, we may still see an error 32 now that we've updated both firmwares, and that's usually because we still have this cable plugged in. So we want to go ahead and power cycle it again, but we want to make sure that we have the firmware update cable removed. So we'll set that aside, 
and we'll let it reboot. Alrighty, let's let it count down. Now error 32 is cleared, we're good to go. If you still, again, have error 32, it's usually because you have that cable plugged in, so make sure that's removed. If you press up, you'll see display is 61.15, and now we've updated our inverter to 63.24. Now we're good to go. Thank you so much for watching, we'll see you next time.